Welcome to my notes Oracle DBA YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to perform a PITR using a PG backrest. In the previous videos, we have covered about what is a PG backrest and what are the key features are there and how to take a different types of backup like a full backup, incremental backup, differential backups and how to perform an entire cluster restoration. Uh, if you want, you can just refer the playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about PITR. So what is a PITR? PITR stands for point in time recovery. So in which of the scenarios we have to perform a PITR? The first thing is human error. So what is a human error? Unfortunately, some people has executed delete command on your main or uh, entirely more specifically used application table or like a most important table they have performed a delete operation against the table unfortunately they have executed a drop table or entirely drop the database so these are the things are called human errors and second thing is disaster recovery example server crashes natural disaster or some ransomware attacks. So on this time, restoring an entire cluster to a pre-disaster state using the archived walls. And also testing and debugging. So you want to perform a, some application enhancement or you want to verify the application enhancement compatibility. So at the time, what you will do, you will take a backup and you will perform on that particular timing in your lower environment or in the existing environment you will use this particular timing perform the PITR so in this scenarios we are performing the PITR back to the terminal so here we, we can verify that whether the postgres is up and running or not so type over here so you can see here on the screen I just want to check that uh, the backrest stands up my notes or a call dba demo i want to verify what are the existing backups are there so these many existing backups are there in my pg backrest so let's perform the patr now i have a few tables in my db so i'm going to create table pitr underscore demo which contains of id and we can say name equal to worker 200 so that so insert our one value i'm going to insert a another value using the name called demo2 let's verify the current underscore time stamp so this is my current time stamp details when the record was inserted now i'm going to drop this particular table pitr underscore demo so once i have dropped this table what i am going to do i am going to just to execute just to stop the cluster and performing the pitr sudo system ctl star postgres equal 14 okay let's verify that database status so which is stopped now we can perform the pg backrest this one so why we are using a delta option the delta option allows pg backrest to automatically determine which files in the database cluster directory can be preserved and which one needs to be restored from the backup so the delta option is one of the powerful option in pg backrest which uses the features of checksum to optimize both backup and restoration operation as i mentioned earlier like which it automatically determines which of the files has to be exist under the pg data directory and which of the files has to be restored from the backup so this option is very much helpful and it's a big future of pg backrest now so that is there and if you want you can just refer the postgres.auto. so here you can see that restore command 
which is pushing your archive files and also the timing which we have provided in the target command and also you can see the target action which is a promote so these things will be automatically updated on your postgres.auto.conf file so now i am going to start my cluster using systemctl start postgres equal 14 so now once you started we can go to the database logs c less hyphen lrth and postgres sun so you can see that starting archive recovery consistent state of recovery has been reached and you can see that recovery has been completed database is accepting read and write connections so whenever you are performing a PITR so first recommendation is you can just have your look of your log files because sometimes if anything warning or fatal anything occurs so it will be most helpful to troubleshoot further so here we are successful state now i am going to verify that see the pitr demo is there and also we know we have a two entries over here pitr just to demo so you can see here also we can do with select star from pi pitr underscore demo so there are two entries are there so i have this video has been helpful to understand the PITR concept and we have another method I will explain you in upcoming video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.